Okay, we're going to read <clears throat> fifth grade passage, Honus Wagner, Baseball Legend. And as I read, I need to visualize, use my strategies, write my important words um, at the edge of the passage or the paragraph. And I know that I'm going to be asked about the best summary for either one part of the selection or the whole selection. They're gonna, I'm going to be asked to make an inference about the character, uh, the author's purpose, and vocabulary words. So I pretty much know whether, what I'm going to be asked. So I'm going to think about those basic questions as I read. Some 12-year-olds dream about the kind of job they'll have when they get older. At age of 12, Johannes Peter Onus Wagner was already working with his father and brothers in the coal mines near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Wagner would load about 2,000 pounds of coal onto a cart each day, earning 70 cents for a day's hard labor. But Wagner didn't plan to work in the coal mines forever. He had a different dream, to become a professional baseball player. So who did what? At the age of 12, he was sure he wanted to become a professional baseball player. Number two, as children, Wagner and his brothers spent all their free time playing baseball. So it was not just him, his brothers as well. One of his older brothers noticed Wagner's skills. He encouraged Warner to practice playing each of the nine positions on a baseball team. So one important key of information here is one of his brothers realized that he was actually good. Wagner fell in love with the sport. He walked several miles to see the home games of the nearest professional best baseball team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. So this was the home team. He will watch them watch the team play while sitting in a tree just outside the ballpark. Wagner's love for the game will help him become one of the greatest baseball players of all time. I'm gonna underline this this one right here because I believe this has to do with the theme. My goodness, but it's a theme. If you that that could be something that I, I can learn from this character, which is it seems like a biography. Um, I could learn that if I really, I am really committed and I really love what I do, I can become the best at it. Okay. My first section will talk about when he was a child, how his brother uh, identified his excellent skills in baseball, I encouraged him, and how will he, how will, um, how he used to attend the baseball games uh, when he was a child of his favorite team, which was the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, I'm going to use another color for them. the next section. Looks can be deceiving. If you don't know the word deceiving, uh, you look for it in the dictionary. And deceiving means that uh, it can they can trick you. I'm going to write the word trick. Tricky. Looks can be tricky. And they give you a photo and a caption. Honus Wagner, in his Pittsburgh Pirates uniform, so he actually became a baseball player for his uh, favorite team, his home team. So he's tricky. Does he look like a regular baseball player? Let's see. As a young adult, Wagner began playing for various area baseball teams. In 1985, he was recruited to play for a minor league team. He hoped his talent would soon earn him a spot on a major league team. So his career began that in, in that year. Though powerfully built, Wagner was an awkward figure on the baseball field. Some major league managers were not impressed. Wagner's Bowed legs and long arms made him look clumsy, but the question is, was he actually clumsy?
No. His left hand appeared too large for his baseball glove, and Wagner used a glove with a hole in it. Okay, he has a, he had a big hand. Um, Wagner made the hole himself because he thought the ball was easier to hold in his glove that way. Okay, so he made a change in his glove. However, coaches quickly learned to appreciate Wagner's ability to hit the baseball and play any position. That was his skill. His gawkiness didn't matter. So you have an underlying word that connects to this one right here. Gawkiness, awkward. In 1897, Wagner joined a major league team in Louisville, Kentucky. He was a shining star there until 1900 when he was asked to join the Pittsburgh Pirates. So I'm going to underline this one. I know his favorite team and the year. At last, Wagner was playing for his home team. Okay, so the section that we read was when, was I'm going to summarize it in my head, it was his the beginning of his career. He was practicing, playing baseball. He played in the minor leagues and then he got to the big leagues. A hometown favorite. I'm going to use blue for this section so I can have three colors. A hometown favorite. So that means that he was well received by people in Pittsburgh. Let's see. Wagner's power, speed, and talent led to success with the Pirates. So he was, it was power, speed, and talent. Thunderous applause greeted the fan favorite at every home game. After playing several positions with the Pirates, Wagner earned a consistent role as a team starting, starting shortstop. Okay, I have a picture here of the positions, and I don't know where the shortstop is. Here is the shortstop. That's his position. Uh, a, short, a shortstop plays between second and third base. More balls are hit to the shortstop than to any other position. A shortstop must also have a strong throwing arm to quickly throw the long distance for to first base. Game after game, Wagner had success playing this difficult position. Wagner's long arms and large hands help him with batting as well. Okay. He was able to hit almost any ball pitched to him. In the early 1900s, Wagner was one of the National League's best players. Many other teams wanted him to play for them, but he remained loyal to his home team. Wagner played for the Pirates for 17 years. For much of the time, he was the best hitter in the National League. Arthritis pain in his legs slowed him down, though. Wagner tried to retire, but his coaches persuaded him to keep playing because they believed the team benefited from his leadership, so he was also a leader. In 1917, Wagner played his last game for the Pittsburgh Pirates, but he wasn't finished with the team just yet. Wagner became a coach for the Pirates some years later, serving his team again from 1933 to, I cannot read it, I think it's 1954. Okay, let's go to the questions, I think. Well, we were missing the last part. I'm going to use... Uh, Honoring excellence. So he was excellent. A statue of Honus Wagner stands in front of the Pittsburgh Pirates Stadium. Okay, Wagner is considered by many to be the greatest shortstop of all time. He was one of the first five players selected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame, which is a big honor. At the time of his death, 1955, Wagner still held many National League records. Wagner worked hard to become a professional baseball player. His journey continues to motivate young people to asp who aspire to be professional athletes. I'm going to ask for, for this word. So I need to uh, look for a dictionary, but I can use um, context clues. Aspire sounds like inspire. Okay. And I have the sentence, young people who to be. Young people who to be, okay, who aspire to be, who want to be, okay, all right, and let's now move on to the questions. 
Okay, and as you can see, they're asking me for the word aspire, and it says encourage a friend, arrange a meeting. So, young people, I have to copy the sentence. It says, young people who aspire to be. If you copy the sentence, you can use the strategy, plug it in, plug it in, so you can see um, which one fits better. So, young people who encourage a friend to be, young people who arrange a meeting to be, young people who design a project, young people who seek a goal. To be baseball players so aspire means someone that you encourage a friend no arrange a meeting totally no design a project totally no this is my correct answer you're looking to become someone you have a goal okay the first one encourage a friend could be the distractor it looks like the answer but it it wasn't okay 41. What do the details in paragraph 5 help the reader understand about Wagner? So I need to go back and find my paragraph 5. I'm going to move this one right here. <clears throat> my paragraph 5, where is it? It's right here. Let me move this up. My paragraph 5 says, so powerful, powerfully built, Wagner was an awkward figure on the baseball field. Some major league managers were not impressed. Wagner's bowed legs and long arms made him look clumsy. His left hand appeared too large for his baseball glove. Okay, so the details in paragraph 5 help the reader understand that A. He was underestimated because of his appearance. Okay, definitely... Uh, the paragraph 5 is, let me move this back up, paragraph 5 is talking about his appearance. It's talking about the arms, the legs, his big hands, he even had to make a hole in the globe. So this one could be, I'm going to keep reading. He was unhappy with his performance. He was unhappy with his performance. No, he was not unhappy with that, his performance. He lacked the patience that coaches uh, expected from players. No, it was not that. That paragraph 5 is describing his, his appearance, not talking about his personality traits. He needed the proper equipment before a major league team will select him. Okay, this one, proper equipment, you might think, oh, well, the Globes didn't paid him so he had to change him he needed the equipment that might be true but i believe this is a distractor the main focus for of the paragraph five is describing his physical appearance saying that he was awkward and he was his legs were too long he had very long arms his hands were very long so those scriptures or descriptive words will tell me that he was underestimated because of his appearance. But once they watched him play, they could see that he was very talented. Okay, 42. Which sentence from the selection shows that Wagner was a positive influence on others? And this, I'm going to underline this. Which one of these four tells me that he was positive influence it has to do something with being a leader helping others uh, being inspiring okay and for what we we have read he was considered awkward because of his physical appearance and so he had to play and prove to everybody that he was actually very good at playing baseball regardless of his physical appearance that he didn't look like everybody everybody else he didn't look like all the other baseball players so it has to do something with that 
Uh, he didn't give up because of his physical appearance. He kept on working hard at playing baseball. So let's see. Now that I have an idea in my head, I'm going to read my choices. Wagner would load about 2,000 pounds of coal into a cart each day, earning 70 cents for a day's hard labor. This was when he was a child. Okay, and that shows perseverance or, yeah, determination, but it's just for him, for his family, not necessarily a positive influence on others. Let's analyze letter G. Wagner's love for the game will help him become one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Love for the game. Love for the game means that he was passionate. It's not about influencing other people. That key word is how did he influence others? Let's see letter H. For much of that time, he was the best hitter. Okay, this is talking about just him. This is talking about him. This is talking about him. So it's individual, individual, individual. Let's see J. Wagner tried to retire, but his coaches persuaded him to keep playing because they believed the team benefited from his leadership. And being a leader is what I was thinking about. So my correct answer is letter J. Okay, next question. By including details in paragraph 3, the author most likely hopes to convey that Wagner. Oh, this question means, what are they asking me? So paragraph 3, what is it telling me about Wagner? I need to go back and reread re -read paragraph 3. Um, Wagner fell in love with the sport. He walked several miles to see the home games of the nearest professional baseball team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. He will watch the team play while sitting in a tree just outside the ballpark. Wagner's love for the game will help him become one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Okay, so what is it telling me? That he, when he was a child, he will do whatever it took to be able to watch his favorite baseball team play. Now that I have an idea in my head, I'm going to read it. Read the choices. Took time to explore a professional career that was not related to baseball. And I know that is totally wrong. I'm going to find two that are totally wrong. He had a real passion for his baseball from an early age. Yes, this could be it. Early age means when he was a boy. And paragraph 3 is telling us that when he was a boy... He would just watch the baseball games. Letter C. Settle for playing with the Pittsburgh Pirates because the team played close to his childhood home. It's not talking about that. D. Enjoyed interacting with players during the Pittsburgh Pirates home game. Okay. He, it's saying that he was sitting in a tree outside the ballpark. Did you, did you, do you think that he will ever have the opportunity, he had the opportunity to interact with the baseball players? So, I got my correct answer. Okay, 44. What is the primary theme in the selection? And if you see in paragraph 3, I wrote down the theme. Mm -hmm. So, what is the message? The theme means what... I'm going to write it again. What can I learn from this person? Hmm? Family members should offer support to one another. Is it talking about family members? It's not talking about that. Yes, it is important. We, our family should support. I mean, we should support our family members. It is true, but it's not the message of this passage. Letter G, kindness, kindness often leads to friendship and admiration. Yes, but it's not talking about friendship. H, people should take the time to pursue their interest. That could be it, because he pursued his interest that was baseball. Let's see, letter J, dedication can help a person achieve great success 
Okay, I have found the two that are totally wrong. And I have found the distractor and the correct answer. So I'm going to read both of them again to see which ones are, which one is the correct answer. Uh, when I think about it and see in terms, see them in terms of what can I learn from the character? What can I learn from the passage? Know that if it's true or not true, because actually the four of them are true. But it's just what, which one relates to what I have just read, okay? Which one is the best? People should take the time to pursue their interests. Okay, uh, did he take the time to pursue his interests? Yes. Mm-hmm. He, he did. Let's see the other one. Dedication can help a person achieve great success. I think the key word here is success. Was he successful? Yes. Why? Because he dedicated his life to the sport. So the best of these two is dedication. Dedication. Dedication can help a person achieve great success okay and question 45 which phrase from paragraphs 5 and 6 helps the reader understand the meaning of cockiness in paragraph 6 and please my advice to you is to copy the sentence here it's not looking for the meaning of the word uh, it's looking for clues phrase from paragraphs 5 and 6 means clues you don't they don't ask you what you think it means or um, the, the dictionary definition they're asking you what give a what gives away the clues to understand the word you it comes straight from the passage so i want you to underline i'm sorry to write down the sentence his cockiness didn't matter i can copy that And I remember that matter. I remember that I underlined some words in my passage. I underlined long arms made him look, look clumsy. I underlined his hand appeared too large for a baseball. And yeah, it's all. I underlined those two. Let's see what is gawkiness. What are, what are the clues? A, bowed legs and long arms made him gawky. <laughs> Play any position? No, because this is about the physical appearance. Didn't matter? No. Learn to appreciate? Mm, no, because who learned to appreciate him? The coaches. It's not, and who was gawky? Gawky looking. <laughs> Honus Wagner. So there you go. This is the right answer. And 46. The photograph of the statue of Wagner conveys the message that if you remember, this is a photograph. Okay. It says a statue of Honus Wagner stands in front of the Peace for Paris Stadium. So I'm going to think when people decide to make a statue, uh, it's just to remember someone that is very, very good at what he does but he's also uh, an inspiring um, figure someone that you can learn from and inspire you to be the best you can be that's why we have biographies as well to inspire people to be the best they can be so let's see the choices that I have now that I thought about it then I read my choices if you don't think about it and if you just read the question don't think about the question and just go straight to the to the choices it's going to be super hard. You need to have an idea of what the question is asking you and to make a connection, uh, make it relevant to you, check what you have in, this, in the passage, have an idea of a possible answer, and then you read the choices. Um, F, Wagner's accomplishments are still respected today. That could be. He's still respected. Let's see. But I wonder, is... Is the statue showing you accomplishments? He has a baseball, Let the baseball bat, let's see. G, 
The Pittsburgh Pirates are successful today. Okay. Is the statue about the Pittsburgh Pirates? No. People can still learn from Warner's life story. Okay, that will be from a book, not a statue. So, hey, I found out the two that are totally wrong. So, let's see letter J. Pittsburgh Pirates fans believe that Warner is the best coach of all time. Okay, the statue is not about fans. And the statue represents Wagner as a baseball player, not a coach. Hmm. So, there's my answer.